Now I will show you how we export the dots. So I bring all my dots for every mode into a Adobe Premiere video file. For instance, here's when the Ghost Warden is defeated. You can see a little bit over there. He's a cannibal who used to eat his prisoners, so of course his Twilight Zone-esque comeuppance is the prisoners eat him. So here are the ones we just did, and then we can see them running. Now I don't have any sound for this yet, but that's alright because it's, for programming purposes, video is good enough. I mean when I'm programming the, the machine. I'll put sound in later, since they're separate files. They are not interleaved, which is what AVI stands for, Audio Video Interleave. Anyway, I'm going to render this guy here. I'm going to render him as a series of bitmaps, or a bitmap sequence. And I put it in a certain folder, and I export it, which doesn't take very long at all. And now we get a bunch of numbered stills, basically, and eventually we're going to have a GUI for this, but right now we're still using a command line interface. So I tell it the starting frame, the end frame, and the resulting file that I want it to create. And the files that we use in our SD cards for the pinball machine, they're called vid files. And basically it's a raw uh, bitmap data file that is positioned... How do I put this? If you have a bitmap on your Windows machine, it actually stores it this way in, in on the file, so the file actually starts at the bottom of the bitmap and goes up. The way our screen memory, or the way a DMD works on a pinball machine, it goes from the top down, so one of the things this program does is it rearranges the order of the bytes in the file, and it also down converts it for the two-bit graphics, or four shades of gray, not 50 shades of gray, that a pinball machine uses. So I execute this code, all right, that one's done, and now I get rid of this. Again, the GUI would do this automatically, and we have this resulting P8X file. And so everything basically is a three-letter code. Uh, I keep them all on the list in like a Google Doc and as, as well as a text file on the list. Do it again for the second one. Now this may seem tedious. Well, that's because it is, but uh, I saw that Metallica video and Stern's still using like a 23-year-old paint shop program for some reason. I don't know why they do that. There's no reason. Okay, that one's done. So yeah, it'll be better. Well, next game we should have a GUI. We might have a GUI at the end of this game, you know, just in time. Well, you know, to finish it up and stuff, but uh, whatever. Chris Craft was nice enough to make this command line interface for me, so that's cool. All right, this guy's 37. So I don't have to type everything again, but I have to make sure that the number of frames is correct. All right, all done. So then what I'll do is I'll take those three resulting files, I'll copy them from here, I'll put them in my master folder along with all the other files. See how many does Ghost Squad have? Ghost Squad has, at this moment, it has 423 video files. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe next time I should make a simpler game. Anyway, this whole folder here will be copied to an SD card and that's what the game will run.